I have three exercises for you to do to improve your shoulder flexibility in the upper back. First, if you have a block, use it. If not, keep your arms roughly that distance. You're gonna stand with your booty to the pole, glue it to the pole, hold the block between your wrists, elbows nice and straight. Elevate those arms as high as you can to the pole or to the ceiling. Little pulses. If you have the flexibility to touch the pole, take it behind the pole, not letting your back move, and little pulses, 10 to 15. You can do two to three sets. Second one, you're gonna stand with your booty to the pole, interlace your fingers with slight bend in your elbows, squeeze your elbows together, big breath in, exhale as you press away. And relax, big breath in, exhale as you press away. And as I'm exhaling, I'm also trying to extend my arms and press my armpits away. Third one, feet about a foot away from the pole, hands one on top of the other, elbows straight, very important. Big breath in as I exhale, I'm gonna bring my chest to the pole, try to slide it down as far as I can without letting my elbows bend, and trying to tuck my pelvis as much as I can. If I can breathe in that, slide it down a little bit more. Okay, so that is three shoulder and upper back exercises. These pulses will help you strengthen your rotator cuff, great preventative exercise for sh against shoulder injuries, and also your active flexibility for when you wanna grab your foot and pull it over your head, okay? If you wanna go into more detail on these, how they work, why they work, what things to be aware of and cues, I highly recommend checking out my online flexibility program, which you can find on my website, elizabethbfit.com. So add these into your training sessions, two minutes at the beginning of any retraining session and you will find that your shoulder and upper back flexibility will improve.